guys welcome back to my channel uh, just by looking at my perfume tray you can guess what day it is it's my favorite day out of the years uh, it is time for my perfume rotation another month has gone by another uh, time for me to you know switch out my trays and try out new perfumes get a chance to really know them uh, so what you're looking at right now is the end of my July tray. Uh, yeah, my July 2023 tray. And um, we, I started off pretty good. We had a pretty good tray this month. Um, a couple of perfumes that I had some trouble with. Um, you can guess as there is a particular perfume missing here. The Escada Miami the Escada Miami Blossom. Um, I had some issues with that perfume. I The opening was really nice. You know, it opened up with a very bright, fruity uh, pineapple, I think mango, but it was a very bright and fruity opening, which I really, really liked. But the dry down, it got a little off on my skin. And it, you know, wasn't too much of a big deal. You know, it, it gave off, you know, like Bath and Body Works, um, fragrance sprays, vibes. That's, it was, had about the same longevity as that also. So I was okay with parting with that particular perfume. So I, I you know, passed it along to someone who I think would really enjoy it. And hopefully it works out for them. But out of the Miamis that I did have in my tray, you know, I had the Miami Blossom and I had JLo's Miami Glow. If you can tell, I really, really liked this one. Now, I think this one had a lot of controversy um, from what I saw on like fragrance forums and reviews because it's not your typical, uh, you know, uh, it's not your typical scent. It's not your typical fruity uh, it's not your typical fruity, you know, tropical scent. It actually comes off very, very soapy and very, very clean, which I adore. I don't, you know, if you get to know me through my perfume channel, you know that I really, really like those clean and soapy fragrances. And this smelled like a tropical, like, spa like does that make sense like it smelled like a tropical spa with like um really clean creamy soaps um it was beautiful i i really really like this and the bottle is so cute with this little charm on it so i really enjoyed this perfume um another one that i absolutely love this one here it's completely empty another one down this is uh, clean classic warm cotton y'all this is a beast of a fragrance it is so good if you like those very if you like those really fresh um scents this is the perfect one it has incredible longevity especially for a fresh scent because usually most fresh scents don't last that long you know like the most iconic one is like dolce and gabbana's light blue it has you know very poor longevity for the perfume this lasted like all day all night and it smelled so clean and it had um it has amber in the base notes and that's what gives it that very warm skin like quality it's very good and this was one of my favorites for the month of july so i'll definitely restock up on that one uh another favorite of mine was Alien, oh extraordinaire! Um, just a couple sprays of this would would last you. This was a very very beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, has the same classic Alien DNA. It has that beautiful jasmine scent, that powderiness, um, very unique scent. Just lighter. So if you know if you're the type of person who may have found. The original alien to be a little too strong or a little too heady i would say try the o extraordinaire um if you know if it's available if you can find it there are so many flankers 
to Alien and they're always discontinued. I'm, I'm not too sure if this one may be on the way of becoming discontinued or if it already is. I, I purchased this a while ago um, and I've been saving it specifically for the summer months because I read that it's a very good uh, Alien version for the summer and it was exactly that and I love this one a lot. Next favorite of mine was CK's Into You. Uh, surprisingly, I really, really like this one. This is a beautiful aromatic vanilla. So it, it's not like your heavy, sweet, gourmand types of vanilla scents. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I do quite like a good vanilla. I'm, I am, I'm not the biggest gourmand person, but I can appreciate them. Uh, but I love this type of vanilla. It's a very fresh, like I said, aromatic, airy vanilla. There is still some sweetness to it. There's a very interesting and beautiful note of cactus, which gives it a very green and clean quality. And this was really nice for the summertime. I, honestly, I think you could probably wear this year round, but I really, really like this one. And I think it's a very good unisex scent. I know it says for her, but I think... I think men could easily wear this perfume. Ooh, another favorite of mine was Atelier's Cologne. Oh my God, I loved this one. I wore this one in the beginning of July and I was so sad at how quickly I went through this little travel size because this is beautiful. Clementine, California, oh my God, it was so good. This was a, like, bright citrus uh like the sweetness from the clementine and mandarin uh like if you could make citruses sexy this is this this is like so so good like and it's a beautiful unisex scent if a man were to smell like this oh my god so good so good i i thoroughly enjoyed wearing this like i said i was so sad at how quickly i went through this <laughs> tiny bottle um the only biggest issue i had with this is its longevity because it's a cologne you know they don't last long at all if they made this in an eau de parfum concentration i would buy this in a heartbeat like i would honestly buy this in a heartbeat this was so good i would probably search for a bigger bottle of this if i could uh, another favorite of mine, well, maybe not favorite, but because I, I think, like I said, the Atelier's Cologne, Calif uh, the Clementine California was my top favorite for July. Um, and the ones that I featured before. This was a pretty good scent. This one was okay. Um, I liked, I, I actually liked layering this one with this little oil that I had purchased at the beach one time. I have no idea. Um what the scent is but it gives me it's like coconut and sea salt and some sort of citrus in it but i purchased it on like um the boardwalk there when they were selling like those little oils and ca candles but because the gardenia and cardamom like i said earlier it made me think of coconuts i thought of layering it with a coconut oil a uh, perfume oil and it was really nice it this had some good projection um, good longevity and it is a beautiful scent. I actually got a really nice compliment at my job because of this one So it it's a beautiful beautiful scent. It is very light and it is more of a skin scent So if someone were to come close to you, they can get a you know a really nice scent But it doesn't particularly leave like a, a heavy trail, which is nice for the summertime It's a very comfortable and easy to wear scent a really good dumb reach you know, you don't have to think too hard about uh, wearing this one or grabbing this one for the day. An interesting perfume that I was wearing was Gucci's uh, Memoir d'une Odeur. This was a very interesting perfume, probably one of the most interesting scents I have in my collection. This is a very herbal, floral, and wood woody scent, like a wood type scent. There's bitter almond in the opening there's chamomile and some sort of like greenness as well i can't remember the rest of the notes but i know the main uh, the main notes um were bitter almond and chamomile and there's vanilla in the base um 
I absolutely despise the opening. <laughs> like I hated the opening. The bitter almond um, does not sit well with my stomach. Like it's a little, it, it's exactly just that. Like it's bitter, it's dry. Um, and I did not appreciate that bitter almond note, but luckily it doesn't last long and it transforms into a very, very lovely herbal chamomile green scent. Um, it is a very light scent. Like it, it's so light. You have to really get up close to your, like if you were to spray it on your wrist, you'd have to smell it very close to your skin to get any scent trail. But I think that this was a perfect scent for bedtime. I guess something about the chamomile was a very calming, you know, it gave a very calming effect. Uh, but yeah, oh, the vanilla combined with that chamomile, it made me think of like a very like chamomile-like tea with like a little hint of vanilla extract. Does that make sense? Like it, it, the dry down was very nice. Just, I really did not appreciate that bitter almond opening. Um, I'll probably play around with this a little bit more. And like I said, this is a very good bedtime scent. So I had no issue wearing that for bed. Um, if they made this into a candle, actually, this would be a beautiful candle. I think something about the herbal and um, green quality makes it it smelled so beautiful in the air. Like it's so relaxing. It made me think of like those um, like Korean spa houses or those bath houses. So that it was very, very nice. And it would make a beautiful candle just on my skin. I, some, something about it made my stomach turn sometimes. Next we have is, uh, Toka Stella. And again, just excuse that, uh, the, the title of the perfume fell off. Or when I purchased it, it did it was defected, so it didn't have the title. But that's okay. It that doesn't bother me anything, and I still really, really love the scent. This is a beautiful floral, like very beautiful aquatic floral scent. Um, it is borderline like a little generic, but that never bothered me. It just smells good. Like wearing this, you could, this is another dumb reach. You could wear it to work, wear it to run groceries, to run errands, do groceries. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I didn't have much of an issue wearing this one. And I love the bottles so much that I almost like keeping it just for the, just for that. Like this is so gorgeous. I will always fangirl over Toka's perfumes. And last but not least, was uh, Versace's Dylan Turquoise. This one was okay. Um, I have a love-hate relationship going on with Versace's uh, Dylan Turquoise. I love it in the air, right? I love it in the bottle. Like, it smells good in the bottle. It's a beautiful, like, zesty and, like, tangy citrus scent. It's very sharp and very bright. There's so much citrus in the opening that it like, it it tickles the nose. It's so sharp, um, and it can almost give like borderline cleaning product vibes, which I'm not too much of a fan of. But the dry down was really really nice. So like I said, I like it in the air. I like it on the bottle. Even when you like spray it on clothes, it smells really nice on clothes. But when I spray it on my skin, it becomes so sharp and so unpleasant in the opening. And the musk in it just didn't mix well with my skin. Um, I was not at all impressed by it. And I, I maybe the ambroxan note also, because, you know, ambroxan, it's one of those like molecular notes that's supposed to change um, with everyone's skin chemistry and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, I ended up mostly using and I used quite a bit of it because I was really trying to give it a chance. Like, I don't know if you can see, I, I was trying to give it a chance to really like it. And I've just not been just not at all been impressed with this one unfortunately I think maybe when it comes to fresh citruses I'll probably stick with Dolce & Gabbana's light blue 
but I guess this is this really isn't a bad a bad scent at all. I just don't think it worked for me because on my clothes it smelled beautiful, so fresh and clean. In the air, it it you know it's so bright, it's so lovely. Um, I even sprayed like my car with it just to just for like giggles, <laughs> just for like shits and giggles. But I didn't, I did not appreciate this on my skin. So I'll probably just you know use up the rest of it as room spray or or whatnot. And the rest of this, this was just another bottle of CK, the empty little bottle of CK1 and a perfume oil. So that was the end of my July tray. Um, can't wait to show you guys what I have in line for August. So let me just clean off my tray here and I'll be right back. All right, so now that we're all cleaned and prepped and ready, the first fragrance that I'm so excited to share with you guys, I got this in a haul recently. Um, just have some patience with me. I'm get, I'm in the process of filming all of my hauls and editing them. I'm still getting the hang of it. Um, but this is an old time favorite of mine. This is J'adore's. This is Dior's <laughs> J'adore. And I absolutely love this scent. I love this scent since I was little because I would always smell this on my mom. This is one of my mom's uh, signature scents. Um, and for good reason, it is a beautiful, beautiful aquatic floral scent. Um, it is a, you know, perfect signature scent, perfect for our everyday wear, um, it's perfect for special occasions. It's just like, it is the that scent. I remember always going into my mom's wardrobe and like sneaking spritz of it and spraying it on myself, <laughs> even though I was like way too young to even be wearing this perfume. But your girl had, you know, rich tastes back then. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite. I even, I already started wearing it before the month even started. So that's uh, Dior's J'adore. Um, another designer classic or this is a flanker of the classic this is Chloe's tangerine and roses so this is a flanker of the original Chloe it's very it smells very similar to Chloe this one just has extra notes of tangerine and roses so it gives it a more floral fresh vibe which I think would probably do very well in August you know we're still we're still in the summer months, it's still pretty hot, although it's starting to become a little more mild uh, where I'm located. It's not so hot and sticky as it was in July. Um, so I'm pretty excited to test that one out. Uh, back in July, you saw that I had the Alien Eau Extraordinaire. I have another Alien Flanker. This is the oh so controversial Alien Goddess. Now we all know that this doesn't have anything to do with the original Alien line. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't smell good. Because it does. It still smells like a very good perfume. And it's a beautiful, like, coconutty summertime scent. So I'm excited to try this one. I had a little travel size that I had used. And um, I had another one that I gave to my sister. So I purchased the full bottle. So I'm very excited to try this one. All right, next I have is Jimmy Choo's Floral. And this is a beautiful scent, although this does not at all give me floral vibes. This should have been called Jimmy Choo Fruity because this smells like the juiciest pear ever. There's like a top note of pear in this and I don't remember what are the other notes because all I get is pear. <laughs> Like, that's all I get. It's a beautiful, like, uh, fresh, fruity, like, semi, like, almost aquatic uh, perfume. But all I smell is pear. But I'm okay with that because I do love a good pear note. Uh, the next I have is a, I guess, a flanker of Pure Grace from Philosophy. This is Pure Grace Tropical Summer. I had this one since last summer and I didn't get a chance to really use it up a lot. Um, so I'm hoping I'll get some more use out of it. This is a beautiful, like, 
exactly what the picture shows. It's a bit of coconut, some citrus, some white florals, um, some melon notes to give it an aquatic scent. It's a beautiful um, airy coconut scent. It's not a heavy scent. It's more like a fresh coconut water. Yeah, like a very refreshing coconut water. I wore this when I went uh, for a trip to the beach and I loved this mixed in with like the salty sea, sea air this was a beautiful beautiful scent so I'm excited to try it again uh, just before summer ends because I can't have a tropical summer without trying tropical summer next one that I have is uh, another clean classic so this was in that recent haul that I showed um, it was in a three pack it was clean classic warm cotton uh, fresh linens and rain. I also have the flanker from Clean Rain and Pear. And this is a beautiful fresh aquatic scent. I mean you can kind of tell that I'm kind of going for a more aquatic vibe this month um, especially because I, I love aquatic notes and I really love aquatic notes during the summertime. There's just something about it that is just you know refreshing to wear in the heavy heat you know it's easy going it's uh light and it, you don't want something to weigh you down the last thing you want to do is be annoyed at your perfume because of how strong or heavy it is at least for me i can only speak for myself um <clears throat> next is another toka perfume because you know i am a stand for toka I feel like they don't get enough credit. They don't, they're so underrated. This is Liliana. Uh, this is another kind of, you know, floral, citrus. Um, yeah, there's some white florals, some pink florals. It opens up with some citrus. A little bit like generic, but that's why I have a, a tiny like tester size of this one. I'm excited to try it and see what I think. Unfortunately, with their tester bottles, they're not the spritz, they're the um, dabbers, but that's okay. Um, another tester bottle that I have is, look how cute this one is. This is the cutest thing. This is <laughs> Calvin Klein's Eternity Air. This is the air flanker. And I got this one in like a little pack. So it came, like I said, it came with the CK1, CK Gold, Eternity Air, and I think a mini of the Euphoria as well. So excited to try this one. And plus, I love how cute these bottles are. And last but not least, I've got another Escada scent. And I'm hoping that this one um, I have better luck with. This is Summer Festival. And this is more, you know, like with all Escada summer fragrances. This is another fruity, lighthearted, carefree scent. Um, I bought both. The, I had bought the um, Miami Blossom and Summer Festival together, like for real cheap. It was um, on clearance at Burlington or TJ Maxx I can't remember at this point but this was during like the after the sum winter sales so I had bought it in hopes that I could wear it over the summer All right, I had to move them around a little bit to make better room for all of them. So that's my August tray. Oh, I'm excited to try them, see what I like, see what I don't. Hopefully I like all of them because I'm, I have a good feeling about this month. Um, let me know what you guys think. What's in your rotation for 
the month of August. If you guys do, some some don't, and that's okay. What are some of your favorite uh, summer scents? Um, any plans? Or what do you like to do when you're wearing this one? Like I said, I love to wear this one to the beach. Uh, talk to me in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. You know, I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you want to. You can check out my other videos. Um, in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.